Welcome to this video on sharing your workbook with an external assessor. I'm Robin Weeks, one of the members of the Glenside Education Innovation Team at UWE. This video will guide you through the steps you need to take in order to share your workbook with an external assessor. In this video, we will cover why you need to share your workbook, how to share your workbook, and what happens next. As part of your course, you will be working with an external assessor. An external assessor may also be known as a mentor, clinical appraiser, practice educator or tutor, to name a few. And in order to carry out actions like reviews, feedback and assessment, they will need access to your workbook. So you will need to provide them access by carrying out a few simple steps. Once the external assessor has access, they will be able to fill in certain sections of your workbook and sign off competencies under any field marked assessor only. It is important for you to share your workbook with your external assessor as soon as you can so that you can both fill in your workbook regularly. It will also give your external assessor the time to familiarise themselves with the workbook and the whole pebble pad system. So let's go over how to share with an external assessor. By now you should be a little familiar with PebblePad. You should be able to log in and you should have already collected your workbook. If you have not done this, then please watch our first two videos in the series called Introducing PebblePad and Collecting Your Workbook and Sharing for Assessment. You will need to go to your asset store. From there, Tick on the orange WB icon next to the workbook that you want to share. In the bottom right hand corner, a blue I want to button should appear. Click on it, then click share. You should only get one option at this stage, to share with an external assessor. If you see different options, then don't proceed and contact a member of the Glenside Education Innovation Team. Type the email address of your external assessor, then click search and please make sure you use their work email where possible. If your assessor is found, that means they already have an account with PebblePad, so all you will need to do is click on them to select. If they don't appear, then you will need to create an account for them. You can do this by clicking add a new external. Type their first name, last name and email address into the fields, then click create. At this stage, you have either created an account for your external or you've just selected them from the list. So now the next two fields are optional. If you choose to leave the date blank, this means that your external assessor will have access to your workbook indefinitely. If you choose to put an end date, this means that your external will only have access to your workbook until the set time. After that, they will not be able to view or complete your workbook. You could choose to put the hand in date of your assignment, end date of your module, the academic year or the end date of your course. It's up to you. However, if in doubt, speak to your UE tutor. The add a message section is also optional. You could add a message if you wish, but it may be worth sending your external assessor a separate follow-up email to let them know that you've shared. More on this in a minute. Finally, click Share Asset. There is no pop-up to say the share's been completed, but you can check your shares by clicking the I icon and scrolling down to Shared for Assessment and clicking External Assessors. Your external assessor, however, will receive a notification email. If you've created an account for them, then they will also receive their login details. It is common for secure email accounts such as NHS, police or gov.uk addresses to block incoming messages from unknown senders. So, as mentioned before, you may want to let your external know that you have shared your workbook. 
External assessors have their own accounts and will only be able to fill in the assessor-only fields within your workbook. They won't be able to fill in your sections or view any other part of your Pebblepad account, such as your asset store. We have a series of guidance videos to help you. The next one in the series is called Uploading Evidence and Using Templates. All the videos will be available for you to watch and to refer to should you need to when using Pebblepad. External assessors will be able to access their own range of guides and resources and they will also be able to contact the Glenside Education Innovation Team if they have any problems.